Hello guys welcome to my channel, let's start. Washington. A federal appeals court on Tuesday started hearing arguments about whether former President Donald Trump is immune from prosecution for his efforts to overturn the 2020 election results in a chain of events that culminated in the Jan. Trump arrived at the federal courthouse in Washington, D.C. a few minutes before oral arguments began at 9.30 a.m. The hearing could last for several hours. The case is one of four criminal prosecutions Trump faces as he fights on multiple legal fronts while remaining the presumptive front-runner for the Republican presidential nomination. With Trump running for office again, whether the Washington trial originally scheduled for March can take place ahead of the election continues to hang in the balance. Special counsel Jack Smith has asked the court to move quickly a bit to keep the the all-woman three-judge panel of the U.S. Court of Appeals for the District of Columbia Circuit is hearing the case on an expedited schedule, so a ruling could come quickly, possibly in time to allow Trump's trial to begin as scheduled. Judge Florence Pan immediately peppered Trump's lawyer with hypothetical situations in which, under Trump's theory, presidents could not be prosecuted. I understand your position to be that a president is immune from criminal prosecution for any official act that he takes as president even if that action is taken for an unlawful or unconstitutional purpose, is that correct? Pan said, Trump's lawyer, D. John Sauer responded that such a prosecution can only take place if the president is impeached and convicted by the Senate first. The position taken by prosecutors would authorize, for example, the indictment of President Biden in the Western District of Texas after he leaves office for mismanaging the border allegedly. Sauer added, Judge Karen Henderson cited another part of the Constitution, a provision that requires the president has a duty to ensure that laws are faithfully executed. I think it's paradoxical to say that his constitutional duty to take care that the laws be faithfully executed allows him to violate criminal law, she said.